Hey, everybody. Hey. We, we sometimes do things, and today is one of those things, when, or one of those times, rather, what we're doing. Yeah. I'm a little bit high. we the ungodly geeks. I'm Joe. Uh, I'm Luke. Sometimes. And today, yeah, sometimes Luke is other people. It's kind of <laughs> weird. Um, you know, he's got he's got head, head mates. <laughs> I was just going to say, my other head mates. Um, I, I got to <laughs> talk about this. Uh, a little bit of news is stupid, and it's 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 relevant. It's topical to today because today is four twenty. That's when we we're recording. Yeah. Um, more than half a ton of marijuana disappeared from a police warehouse without a trace. And upon investigation, the police who were responsible for the warehouse claimed that the missing contraband was eaten by mice. It was a. <laughs> this was in Pilar, Pilar, Argentina, about sixty kilometers outside the capital of Buenos Aires. Basically, they, they, they busted somebody, put this giant bus, the results of it, in a warehouse, and uh, mice ate, like, half of it. A half a ton of marijuana. That's a lot of marijuana. I don't... Do mice even eat marijuana? I mean, like, I, I mean mice are, like, <clears throat> scavengery, so... I mean, they'll um, eat just about anything, but yeah. is there, like, value to eating that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Vitamin A? <laughs> Maybe. What's an alfalfa? Maybe the same things in marijuana, just with more shit. I just don't... I don't know. I, yeah. I, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I know deer eat the buds when they're growing. Right. But, uh, I don't know. Fuck. But... Mice, rats, they'll eat anything, so I guess. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much, I think, what it boils down to. Um, but I find that kind of funny, that... So then, then my question becomes, okay, the guys were... The people working at that warehouse... Did do you think more of it got sold or more of it got smoked by them? I'm I'm okay. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that the my story is a cover up. I'm not even debating that. That's obvious. No shit. No, no. I know that's that's. <laughs> I'm I'm conspirating here, man. I'm I'm conspiring. I gotta get my conspiracy theories going. <laughs> so what I'm willing to bet, see, <laughs> is that that's a cover. <laughs> right, and those guys stole that marijuana, and sold it, and probably smoked a bunch. I I would be willing to guess half a ton of marijuana is a lot of marijuana. That's a lot of, so does the article say when the bust happened? Um, let's and see. then when they discovered I don't think, that I don't think the article actually okay. went into the because um, I want to know the, the amount bust. of time. Because I I imagine that that started out with these guys like. Like, I, I want to believe it started out with these guys like, hey, did you hear all the fucking weed that we just got a fucking a ton in this van? I think you said or bus. Yeah, they don't say And they must have been like, that. you know, I mean, they'll never know if we pinch off a joint or two, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, they fucking one guy goes in there on break with his little clipboard writing stuff and, you know, has a baggie in his other hand and takes, mm. you know, thing of weed. And then, you know, next week, next day, maybe somebody's like, you know, I'm, I'm going to get a little bit. And they go in there and instead of grabbing a fucking baggie full, they grab like a brick, mm -hmm. or stuff it somewhere or take and like empty half a brick and then stick it under the pile. Here's and the thing. That, that I just me. imagine like little by little, <laughs> one, at a, one at a time. So it's basically like confirmed that it was stolen. Of course. Um, I'm, I'm going a little bit deeper into the article. Uh, um, uh, mice ate it. <clears throat> a forensics expert investigated the scene, determined that the explanation offered by the police was highly unlikely and there was no <laughs> proof to substantiate their claims. It's like, there ain't no rat shit in here anywhere. What are you talking about? Mice ate it. it um, <clears throat> it would also have been impossible for them to eat such a large amount. Like, dude, that's a lot that's of fucking marijuana. Like, I you're mean, talking like you're you're talking hundreds of thousands yeah. of mice would have to be there in order to infestation eat infestation level. Like, they'd notice. Yeah, at that point, I can't believe one of the guys didn't like when they were when they knew they were caught. Like, fuck, that day went and to like a fucking like a pet store, you know, in the next state <laughs> over, and was like, I need all your mice. What? Every mouse just bought a whole fucking... He walks in there and does that Ron Swanson thing. He's like, I want all of your bacon. Yes. I don't think you heard me, though. I'm afraid you've heard I want a lot of bacon. No. no give me all, all of, of your bacon. <laughs> and they, this guy did that with the mice, except it's yes. in... Uh, I think they speak Portuguese down there, so it, it, it was just in Portuguese, and I don't, I'm not even going to try that. Wait, wait oh, where was this? Uh, Buen, uh, Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> 
I was, wish, yeah. I wish this was an, okay. They probably sold it. <laughs> oh I mean, maybe they no! Sold I it. mean, Who it was knows? absolutely still like the article basically alluded to corruption. Oh, I know that. I just I was it, it probably if that's the case, then it probably went out in just a sh- very short amount of time mm-hmm. by like the b- truckload. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I just I just imagine this at like a like um. Super Troopers. Uh-huh. If they made a bus like that and it's just sitting at their station and for some reason the state can't get down there to get it for a month or something. Mm-hmm. And just every other day they're just like, hey, want to get high? <laughs> <laughs> just go and fucking just like start packing bowls, rolling massive joints. And then they start doing more and more. And the state comes to pick it up a month later and there's like two little bricks. They've smoked like 30 kilos yeah. of marijuana somehow. Hey, there you go. I just wrote Super Troopers 3. <laughs> Do it. I just wrote the plot to Super Troopers 3. I want ro- Give me some royalties. Hey, fucking give me a cameo and you don't need to give me royalties. Yeah, no, just put me in the background somewhere. Let me be like Farva's like, brother. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'd like to do? I'd just, like just come in like, what are you doing? I'm drinking a liter of Coke. <laughs> drinking a liter of cola. Cola, fuck cola. How do you shame Luke? Shame you bring Luke? Uh, you bring shame on your family? Because not only do I not use the term liters, I'm from Michigan, so everything is pop. Everything we don't yeah. do soda. We're not from fucking South Carolina. Was it South Carolina where everything is Coke? I don't fucking. And know. they just I I can't remember. There's one of these states. It's either fucking like. Tennessee or Car- one of the Carolinas, maybe one maybe, of the states. Maybe it's Mississippi who has the it highest might. teen pregnancy birth rates in the country. Fuck, it might even be them or <clears throat> fucking Alabama. I don't know. One of the southern Bama, states. Go fuck your sister. <laughs> yeah, one of the southern states. Uh, the everything is Coke. You go into a restaurant. I'd like a Coke. Okay, they come back and give you your Dr Pepper you asked for. Like that's how fucking psychic or some shit they are. <laughs> You know what? For some reason, that screen means Louisiana to me. It might be. I was just thinking, maybe it's Louisiana. Yeah, I don't know why, but that just screams Louisiana. Louisiana is one of those states, like, if somebody was to come and tell me, <clears throat> like, like when you hear about um, voodoo and things like that, anywhere else, like, in, in, a, in, like, at least America, they're like, oh, did you hear this shit was going on down in fucking uh, Mississippi? Unless it was, like, some sister fucking or some stupid shit. Yeah. I'd be like, nah. But you tell me it's from Louisiana or New, or- New Orleans? Yeah. I'm New like, Orleans. I'm like, yeah, no, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, yeah, yeah. I, Oh, ghosts? Yeah, there, sure. <laughs> Anywhere else? Nah. Well, well some dude's <laughs> grandma came back from the great, from yeah. the dead and, and has been raping his chickens? Yeah, I believe that. I'm going to use this candle as an extra. Oh, no, go for it. I, I completely, I, that's <laughs> one like thing I love. anyway. Um, but like, yeah, that's the, that's well, the paranormal state. I can set that on later. And what is that? Is that a, I can have cheese, the smell of cheesecake and marijuana in my apartment. There you go. You know, why not? <laughs> and that candle really does smell amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell it's almost burned out. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck, man. But don't, don't like take that at face value. Mm-hmm. Because one day my stupid ass, I bought like two fresh candles of those. Oh, I had okay. one sitting in my bedroom on my shelf. Mm-hmm. I apparently never blew it out when I went to work. So I'm so fucking glad that I got home. And, oh my God. Yeah. Like <clears throat> there was about, I'd say about half an inch from the bottom <clears throat> left. And um, of, of the just of wax, candle, of just wax, burnt. <laughs> of just melted liquid wax. And the candle was still burned and hadn't exploded. That was like nine hours. I'm like, oh my god. I got so fucking lucky. My grandmother, one of her friends, this is this is a couple of years ago, told her to put a candle on put your candles on the stove and just turn the stove on. Um <clears throat> Yeah. Which you put it on the lowest heat possible and yes. then turn it off? Yeah. Sure. No, my grandmother fucking cocks the thing to medium high. And then, you know, a couple of, uh, not even, I don't know how much longer later, you hear, <laughs> as the fucking glass shatters. See, that's how those candle warmers <laughs> work. Yep. But they're like, they're, they're running on like five watts. Exactly. They're it not barely... much hotter than like your fire, your like phone charger or something. Yeah, no. So she's, well, I didn't know that when I'm like, how glass do you not know things? Glass explodes when it gets too hot. Unless it's made of borelicite. Yeah, the sunglass could take it, but not Borelicite's fine. Candle That's what they glass. used to make Pyrex out of. The, the Pyrex yeah. pan. That's what we used to make that out of. Gosh, giant fucking pans. Mm. Um, but 
yeah, I was like, just don't, don't, don't ever do that again. And then please, uh, please don't do that no more. Somebody at at one of the, I think she was at Red Hats or something, which is, uh, like, club for little old ladies to go and hang out. Yeah, once a couple months or once a month or whatever, like a country club. Not not quite country club because this is like any old ladies. It's just and they don't. There's no dues or anything. You just become a part of it, and then they'll go and they'll go out to lunch and right. at a restaurant, or they'll go see like tour of do one of those things that nobody does but old groups of people and school. Uh, <laughs> um, when you go on an outing, that I can't now think field of the trip? term because yeah, there you go because I'm fucking high. But yeah, they, like a field trip. Those are the only groups that do this, and these little old ladies will go and like, oh, we're gonna go look at the cho- chocolate factory. We're taking a tour. <laughs> like, oh, we're gonna go look at petrified wood in the Arizona yeah. forest. <laughs> yeah, but it's not even quite like that because it's all local. So it's like we're gonna go look at the newspaper factory. <laughs> like, all right, have fun. <laughs> we're gonna go see where big bobs get their carpet from. It's like, and then we're going out to eat at the little cafe. And it's like, all right. But these little ladies, they had their Christmas thing, and somebody gave her um, reed diffusers, which they told her were incense sticks that you stick in the reed diffuser thing and light the top on it. Oh, no. So she's trying, thank Christ these things didn't light. Because she's trying to light these fucking sticks of, not incense, but, you know, these reed sticks. And... I had come in and I'm looking. I was like, oh, hey, you got a, a reed diffusion. She said, yeah, but I can't get it to work. I want you to light it like you do your incense because I burn some sometimes. Um, like now, if I was home, would be a good instance of that. But she, I'm like, what are you talking about? You, they said you have to light these. So I'm looking at it and I know. I'm like, Grandma, this is a reed diff- No, it's, it, you burn it and it smells. And No, Grandma, that's not, no. And she's arguing. I'm like, fine, fuck, all right. Let's take a look. So I light this son of a bitch on fire. <laughs> Keep lighting it. She says something about dipping it in the oil. I'm looking at it. Do not light oil because it's highly it's flammable. oil. Yeah. So, no, I did. I stuck the stick in there. I was like, okay, you want to see what happens? <laughs> of course, the whole fucking thing goes up <laughs> and burns down. And I fucking wave it out. I was like, look, this is a reed diffuser. The liquid gets sucked into the reeds, and it starts smelling throughout the whole room. I don't know the science, but that's how it does. Yeah, no, you're you're not wrong. You and I'm it in like, there, the wood I'm like it do up. not light these on fire again, because I could tell she was already like ignoring. Like she's no, I know I'm right. And I'm like no, do not light these on fire again. This is how it makes the room smell. How good. has your grandma not burned your house down yet? Oh my god, I have no idea. She's she's burned up multiple water pots and finally i got her what she kept doing is um our stove has two big front burners yeah it's a the one of the flat electric, yeah, I've seen electric your stove. range yeah, yeah, yeah i've seen your stove and then there are five smaller burners in the back mm-hmm. the middle is like a warming space but so there's two burners in the back on each side right and she would keep every morning when she makes her uh, water for um oatmeal yeah uh, or tea if she was drinking tea at the you know once in a while. Right. But for the oatmeal, she put on a back burner, put the fucking thing on there until it does it, move it off to the side. And every once in a while, of course, she leaves one of those burners on with the top open so the water when it's boiling isn't gonna whistle and just leaves it sitting there. And once that water evaporates, it starts just heating that fucking yeah, metal, just, metal up, gonna... melts the handle in it. So that she's burned up two or three, and she said she's not getting another one. And finally, I was like, why do you keep using them on the back burners? She's like, well, those are smaller. I was like, these up here are fine. They have two different sizes on each one. Just use the one on the front, then you probably won't forget it as easily. That's, that's I mean, I, I when I make tea, and I don't make tea as much anymore. I don't drink it as much. I don't mm. know. I just stopped. Because I cut caffeine out, so yeah. I don't drink black tea anymore. Um, yeah, no, I, I use my big burners. Yeah. Because, like, my water, my pot is, like, the exact size of the big burner. Yeah. Why would you Why would you not? In this case, the, the since the electric range, the burners can be as big as a, you know, a pretty right. big pan. These are, the the uh, the pots is the same size as these smaller burners. And then even on the top, on the in the front side, you can set it to... Small or large. And right. it fits right in the circle for the small one. So I was like, why Why do you keep doing that on the back? This is this is probably way more likely for you to not forget. Because evolution determines that she should have died 10 <laughs> probably, years ago. Probably. But we are compassionate 
animal. <laughs> so we take pity on her and we have done things and advanced our medical science and understanding so that we can keep her alive. Well, that's like that. That's that's the human. <laughs> that's the point that you've reached another level in evolution when you go out of your way as a society to keep, you know, those the weak who, and the weak yeah. you know, from dying off, which I mean, terrible oh. idea. We should stop doing it. Uh, <laughs> no, I yeah That's no right. I no we'll I get to the mean. point where they're just genetically engineering everybody. Everyone's gonna be a designer baby. Exactly. I I like it. Let's do it. Let's do that. <laughs> um, man, I I'm really kind of high right now. That's all right. All good. So here's something that I thought was funny, and um, part of this comes from um, <clears throat> pardon me, guys, a. I, it was on a YouTube channel that I originally saw this, and I think it was yeah, it was Sid Alpha. So there's a Kickstarter. Uh, have you ever heard of FOW Interactive? Yeah, they do porn. Yes. Yeah, I know. They they've done yeah. some of my favorite Zelda videos. They do a lot of um, Steam and um, I think source they do, filmmaker. Yeah, they source filmmaker. Some film, and they do really good source filmmaker yeah, stuff. Like they do stuff on the yeah, quality they, of Blender. It, are you but, talking about the uh, the the porn game they're funding? Yes. Yeah. So they've got this pornographic game coming out called Subverse. Yes. And it's going to be a like. Um, space dating sim, but with a legit couple different game modes in the game itself. Yeah. So it actually sounds interesting. Fuck, I, like, like I it's totally. Gonna be, it's going to be a legitimate game. Yeah, just with extremely with porn on the side with with extremely explicit porn videos yes. thrown in because that's what they do. And honestly, they really do do them well. They're they're very high production value kind of stuff. Yeah, and if it it it, it looks great and. It's fucking hilarious that there's also a YouTube channel. They all they're located in the UK, I believe. I I don't know that. Uh, or uh, well, FOW I, is. Yeah, right. Um, I, what I'm saying is I don't know that is what I'm. Oh, telling okay. You. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're located. You're telling me in the it's overseas in Europe somewhere. I can't remember where. Yeah. Um, the the Kickstarter's not in um, Freedom Dollars. It's in Europort Dollars. I think. Right. Right. <laughs> So, so for, that it was in pounds. I don't for remember. everybody else, there's not in U.S. dollars. It's in the euro. Yeah. So or it's in pounds. I can't remember. Right. So um, or the or GBP. There is an American YouTube state uh, channel. Yeah. Called Subverse. That is a uh, Christian um, kind of oh. news. Not, it's oh, that's rich. Yeah. So. The guy who runs that, and I don't know the whole story. I didn't, like, I watched the one YouTube video and kind of was like, it sucks for this guy, but I get why he's doing it. He's apparently um, suing or possibly is going to sue them um, to, Change you know, because it's his copyright. Yeah, because he right. does have a copyright on the name. Right, yeah, because, I mean, that, that would be, uh, even if he didn't have the actual copyright, mm. um, it would be uh, what what prior use. Yeah. Like, like, if somebody else came out with an Ungodly Geeks podcast... I would sue the fuck out of him. Yeah, you could. We could. Uh, the argument of we did it first. We've, we've been doing this for years now. Yeah. Um, that doesn't mean that so, you can't use our material. Always yeah. use our material. So the thing that is uh, intriguing about it, other than the fact, yeah, he's he's suing mostly because of the analytics. If you Google Subverse, you're not going to see hide nor hair of this fucking YouTube channel unless you search maybe Subverse YouTube Christian their news then you'll see his channel right but if you just search subverse you get subverse for <laughs> you get the kickstarter and a link to fow which is uh which we shouldn't have to mention since we already told you what it was is not safe for work if you decided to go to their website i mean go for it i'm not going to be linking anything like that no because i don't want to risk pissing my my uh, my very wonderful web host off <laughs> Like, it's like that's when we have to make a note of, hey, guys, guess what? Some web hosts don't allow certain content. So we've switched web hosts. I mean, they're an amazing <laughs> web host. And I, I actually have been switching. I, I've considered switching away to find a cheaper host. Yeah. But um, no, not right now. <laughs> like, I mean, there are plenty of web hosts out there that will serve our needs for like six bucks a month. Yeah. But you have to pay like three years in advance. Yeah. And I don't want to. I, I, I'm a minute. I could make that investment. I don't want to. Yeah. I'm I'm I don't want to. <laughs> it's just that's a big investment. I mean, e- even though it is cost-wise be like way lesser. Yeah, cuz I mean, I pay 20 bucks a month you for pay, a web host. Yeah. But the web host is so good 
I, it, it takes a little bit too long, maybe, to load the page initially, but once the page starts loading, it's instant. Yeah. That's, I mean, even then, and our downloads still locked been, for three years. Yeah, we're still, that, that's another thing that bothers me. Even though I've been with Media Temple for like seven years now. Yeah, yeah. Well, but I mean, you five still, years now. The idea of being locked in, unless Media Temple suddenly said, hey, we want three years worth up front. Oh, that would be, fuck you. Yeah. I, I would leave, in, I would, I would, I would FTP in, download every fucking thing, mm -hmm. and close the account immediately. Yeah. Because I am, I, I love Media Temple, but what is that? Uh, tw it's twenty bucks a month. It's two hundred forty dollars a fucking year. Yeah, three uh, years of that is <clears throat> three years of that would be seven hundred twenty dollars. Nah, 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 bruh. I don't need this. I don't so need I'm not going to finance <laughs> no. a damn web hosting. Um, I'm not going to put that on my credit card and max it out again. I'm, yeah. I'm good. You can you can keep you can keep that. Uh, I, but they are they really have been a wonderful web host. No, this is not a sponsored post. They're not paying us. They're not giving us any money off the plan. But if they want to, I would be okay yeah. with that. Um, We're always willing to take that. Or, hey, if FOW was to sponsor <laughs> us, there you go. Go buy this. Uh, go kickstart. Uh, I mean, first. i got to be honest with you. At this point, I would take any sponsorship. Oh yeah, I'm um, not. I'm not. So long as I remain, like so long as we retain creative control, oh, yeah. and we can present ads however we want, kind of like I, I. And I don't think we're big enough to attract that, of course. But hey, you know, if they wanted to, I would be okay with that. <laughs> yeah. right, so I got. I got to talk about uh, a Google fuck up, but not mm -hmm. like a bad Google fuck up. It's not like coming Just out. Just a little the, oopsie. Just a little oopsie. It's not coming out that they're selling all our our voice clips or anything for our Google Homes or mm -hmm. anything. Um, it, this this one actually makes me laugh. So there's a cheeto, there's a user on Reddit called Cheetos. Um, she Cheeto. wanted to yeah c a c h e e t o h z. Um, he wanted he had a defective Pixel three. He returned it to Google, and um, at first they only refunded the eighty dollars in tax. <clears throat> that leaves a nine hundred that he was he was still owed. Well, he wasn't sweating it. Google's come through. They're not an awful company. Um, so he went ahead and ordered a new pink one, a new pink pixel in a separate transaction. Mm -hmm. um, he got 10 of them. <laughs> uh, he, it went from him just wanting his refund for his defective one and then ordering a new one to use until he got the refund or whatever. Well, just I mean, he was waiting on the refund being patient. They sent him 10 pink pixel uh threes so what he did was he took to uh, <clears throat> pardon me took to reddit and made a post in the pixel community mm -hmm. and uh his first comment was google i have your phones and a link to the an imager link where it's just 10 pixel pink pixels in boxes <laughs> you have my money let's sort this out <laughs> they they sent him nine thousand dollars in phones God, and all he was—he just wanted one that was functional. Yeah, and then a refund. And then a refund for the non-functional <laughs> one he had already sent back. And I mean, that's one hell of a way to get a refund. Yeah, that, 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 that uh, Android Police uh, is one of my favorite tech news sites, and mm -hmm. the title of this article that they did that I'm I'm reading, passive aggressive level nine thousand dollars. <laughs> Yep. Like it's it's kind of hilarious. Now it did. It, I mean, everything's been fixed, and Utios has got his uh, he's got all of that money back, so it, it's fine now. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it, it's just kind of silly. <laughs> and the way they gave him a refund, I think, is actually kind of neat. They gave him a nine hundred dollar credit on the uh, Google Fi, so he won't have to pay a phone bill for months. I. Yeah, I'd rather have the money. Uh, have the money, please. Yeah. But it, but nine hundred dollars—that's a fuck. I mean, he just go buck wild with the data at that point. Yeah, because after sixty bucks, it's unlimited. Once yeah, you, once you hit six gigabytes, it's unlimited. Oh my god, they don't charge you anymore. So you just so do the max sixty bucks every month, basically, is what your phone bill is. So nine hundred dollars, you know, that gives you eleven months of just free service, yeah. maxing it out. Yeah, and considering well, you get up to fifteen gigabytes before they start fucking with the throttling, but still, that's. Pretty good. I don't know. I definitely would be pissed if that's the only way they were willing to refund <laughs> uh, They wouldn't be getting all those. So I'd give them like six back and be like, so uh, once I get some cash. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure that uh, the things are going to get like returned and all that. Like I'm not, oh, yeah. I'm not too worried about that. Um, 
I mean, if he's he like, didn't want the fine with phones. the credit. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if he just said he didn't have to say anything, right? No, like, yeah. He, like he, the law is once it's delivered to you, it's yours, and uh, they don't have to um, do anything. But he's like, you know, I just I just want my refund and a phone. I don't want ten of these motherfuckers. But he could totally just turn around, and sold all of those for like five hundred bucks a pop. Yep, came out way on top. <laughs> that's not bad um anyway yeah i just i had to talk about that for a minute because that that makes me that made me laugh it made me giggle a little bit when i saw that <laughs> on reddit it was just i i don't know whether to put that in news of the stupid or just you know general silly talk but it, it's it's good it made me made me giggle a bit i mean it's you know it's it's an oopsie but it's not a bad oopsie yeah no it's part. definitely that's why it's like you know it's just a tiny little little fuck yeah. up here um <clears throat> i don't have we don't have much in the way of movie and no movie well and game i news, thought there really. was some movie news oh so something i had to talk about yeah because i fucking i saw it on uh just the, yesterday um somebody had linked uh the trailer because i wouldn't normally go and look this up because i don't care uh and need for speed presents um something in hobbs Fuck, what's his name it doesn't fucking matter the rocks uh it, it's the new needs for speed movie with the rock and jason statham as the two main character wait there's a need, a, a need for speed movie or new, oh <laughs> I was thinking, um, like, there's a need for Fast speed. and Furious. There's a new, there's need, a new for need for Speed. Need for Speed. It's coming back with The Rock. When was no. the old Need for Speed? <laughs> they made a movie. It was terrible. Oh. Or maybe the first one was good. I don't remember. But they, I know there was a Need for Speed movie. So, But no, it's Fast and Furious okay. with The Rock and Jason Statham. Right. So I I don't care. I haven't. I, I liked like the one where they drag a bank vault. I can't remember if that's five or six. Um, didn't like the last one I saw, and I then know, I haven't Depp seen the it. new one. <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> this, however, I watched the trailer. Looks so fucking wild action movie that I absolutely have to go see it. It is like, like I told you I watched Aquaman over the weekend. Right. Um, and Aquaman's actually, it's a fun action movie. Uh, it's it's kind of just fucking shove popcorn in your face and enjoy it. It's not as I mean, dumb as shit like Venom. That's it's how I actually argue. entertaining action. That's, that's how I'd argue that Justice League was. Turn your brain off and just eat. I, could, but, I but, couldn't say that because it was so fucking boring for about 85% of that movie. Until yeah, the Superman okay. fight and then until the end. That <laughs> until movie, I, I tried. Like going. I watched... I started watching clips of it and was like, oh, my God, there's only 15 minutes of decentness in this whole movie. But um, it's like it's it's just nonstop action is kind of the way I would describe Aquaman. This looks like 10 times that this is like what you would see as a parody of an 80s action movie, like as a joke. Yeah, would be this amount of action. It is fucking crazy. On top of that, it's so at one like their fight. The whole plot of it's like, I mean, Fast and Furious plots are fucking retarded anyway. This I one's mean, yeah, even no, more yeah. so. They're fighting a genetically engineered super soldier who's trying to get a hold of a uh, super virus that can wipe out like half the population of the United States. So basically, they're combining they, Resident Evil with yes, Fast, with that, Need for Speed. That he stole. He's fucking Wesker. That he's stolen oh, from um, Jason Statham's character's sister, who I guess I thought she was a villain before, but I didn't watch the movie with her. Now she's a CIA there's, there's some like, agent. Like eight, I don't know. There's like eight movies, right? Oh, there's I think there's more than that. I can't remember how okay. many Tokyo ones there are. The, Tokyo in, of the of the main, I thought there was another one. I think that's all. There I is. don't know. Of the main, I think the last one was Fast Eight. It's, it was either a seven or eight. Dude, yeah, and I haven't sure seen eight. since like six. The last movie I was genuinely aware of was mm-hmm. Fast Five, and that's yeah. only because of the name. Fast Five is yeah. memorable. It's easy, it, it you know. I can't I, remember if it was five or six. I think it was the, the first movie The Rock joined. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Or was this? I don't remember. It was the one with the bank vault. It was great. That's all I remember. Yeah, uh, but it was all right. Um, but this looks so fucking crazy. At one point, The Rock is like, I need to go back to my... Oh, by the way, the Super Soldier is played by Idris Elba. So already, Idris Elba Fuck, fighting, man. kicking the shit out of The Rock and Jason Statham? Yes, please. 
Oh, yes, we're not going like, to watch yes, that movie. Yes. So, no, we're getting high as fuck, and we're going and seeing that movie just stoned out of our goddamn minds. That is how I've decided I'm seeing that movie with a fucking large, whatever sugary fuck drink I can get, and a large goddamn huge thing of popcorn. Alternatively, if for some reason we're not able to, we'll get big-ass beanbag chairs and just oh, sit out yeah, in the just, just, Yeah, if we don't want to spend money on it and wait for it to hit fucking pirate bag. Yo, yo, ho, pop. but I kind of do want to see it in the theater with just a giant tub of popcorn. Just yeah, look at the action go. Yeah, one of those fucking like party tubs. Yeah, it with us like like the things you throw fucking water and shit in. <laughs> those, like a fucking <laughs> lawn bath. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. One of those giant things. Just yeah. fill this up with what popcorn? Popcorn. <laughs> But, sir, <laughs> give me 18 large popcorns and just fill this up. And then I'll fill it up my goddamn self. Like, don't worry about it. Don't think about the logistics. Just let me and have then, it. And then I need a large drink so I can go over there and fill it with butter. <laughs> start pouring. You have, like, the commemorative oh buckets or something. Yes. Just, fill those. <laughs> just start pouring it, like, literally pouring it over. Just like, pouring buckets. Bucket after bucket oh my of, God. of fake just, butter. Oil. Carly from Epic Meal Time just walks in and starts clapping. <laughs> oh, that's a throwback reference right there. Yeah, right? But, uh, yeah, no, the movie looks insane. The Rock says something at one point about, uh, we need the, my family. Because all the Fast and Furious movies are about family. But he's not talking about the fucking Vin Diesel and those other assholes. He's talking about his actual family. So they go and, I don't know, I, it can't, I don't think it's why. It must be New Zealand or one of the oceanic uh, islands, yeah, ocean, ocean, whatever. Just Those islands where because... the people there are naturally fuck off huge. This is where Samoa? the Maori come, Samoans, yeah, um, the Maori, whatever. Because he goes, his family, hop it. Uh, his family are tatted up. Oh shit! Oh, you broke something. Nope, it's just a, it's just a oh. plate. It's fine. So his family's tatted up in uh, those Oceana tattoos. Yeah. Uh, and they're all fucking huge. And he's like, Mama, I need your help. And his mama's just this giant, like, um, you know, Samoan woman, I guess. Looks like a giant Hawaiian woman, but, you know, it's a different island. Right. So she's like, what do you need, son? Why is it just so great? <laughs> so they fucking, he gets his brothers. They go, and this is, I'm sure the whole movie is in this fucking trailer, but I don't care. It still looks amazing. They go, and he's like, we need guns and cars. And for some reason, apparently his whole family, they detail cars, because they have a massive garage of every car you can think of. And then they go, and he raises this garage door, and you see, like, the outline on these racks of what gun was supposed to go there, but all they're, they're all empty. He's like, Mama, where'd the guns go? I got rid of them. <laughs> and Jason Statham looks at her and just goes, that's very uh, mature of you. We're very, like, <laughs> respectful, <laughs> respectful of you. It's very honorable of you. Yeah, like, you did a good thing getting rid of these guns. <laughs> and fucking The Rock's like, we'll do this old school. And picks up, like, a fucking Maori spike, <laughs> like, ancient weapon. The next scene is all the fucking Maori doing the, the waka chant. Where they're like, ah! <laughs> chanting at these guys standing there with assault rifles looking at them going what the fuck and then charging them with the bad things <laughs> as there's explosions and shit <laughs> and they're beating these guys to death with clubs <laughs> and I'm like this is the greatest thing ever <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile the rock and Jason say them are fighting um fucking <laughs> it's just so great they're fighting Heimdall <laughs> Jesus Christ I was like I've seen the whole movie but I have to go see this whole movie I gotta see how it's all connected oh my god they I gotta see how these different things they get throw to... a fucking they throw a hook on a like a, a wrecker a tow truck they throw a hook the rock of course is sitting there with fucking sleeveless shirt and he's doing that like ah ugh, this is hard look that he does in his movies he throws it over the wing of a helicopter and then it's pulling the tow truck a car tied to the tow truck another car tied to that and another tow truck it's pulling them off the side of a cliff as they're still held on by one car and I think the rock is holding the fucking thing together because he's sitting there straight uh. like he's holding a helicopter and eight cars <laughs> so you're telling me he turned into Captain America I, it's the same exact thing from that it looks exactly like it because when I, you said that it's like my, 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 oh my, my image God. immediately 
immediately jumped to Steve Rogers on that helipad, gripping that side yeah, with of the thing, one around the like, arm and the other like around the tread of the. That's what it looked like the Rock was doing. Oh my god, man! It's so, it's so fucking stupid. So yeah, we're gonna go see that. <laughs> yeah, I have um, to see that movie. I, I'm gonna go see that just. I, I, I want, Idris Elba. Yeah. Like, Statham that's the, that's, the Rock. This that's is, all I need. I don't care about the Statham. new Expendables. Rock is fine, but I don't care about Statham. But I still I still, I mean, I still like Statham. He's in, he's in some bad movies, but he was in some good movies. Crank 2? <laughs> yeah. Crank, Crank 2. Those are fucking great. Those are awful. They're awful, <laughs> but they're so good. They're so bad. <laughs> they're so bad, but they're bad in a good way. Like, I get why those went to theaters and yeah, why those, like, um, nothing that... um. Like, like they're expendable is bad. Yeah, nothing. They're so, they're so over the top, cheesy, crazy exactly. shit. That you but think they is, know it. It's not like it. the Van Damme movies that he made. Oh my god! The last couple of years, or they're Andy terrible. Steven Seagal movie. Yeah, Andy like, Steve just like just how, takes itself seriously. You sit there and you look at Steven Seagal. Like how how can you take him seriously as a martial artist? And the dude's an asshole too. Yeah, like, like, like how, can you take, how can you take him as a as a seri- like, He's just some fat dude with a ponytail that. Sort of, so kind of fucking... punches people. Like, no, he he's not high action. He's not high octane. He's a fat old white no, dude. He fucking does the karate chop thing, and or the neck snap, and that's it. In most of his movies, there's a fucking one where he's a chef on a train. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't remember. Is it just called Chef on a Train? No, I, I don't. I, it's like that, high the... impact speed force. I don't know. Because <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. And I might I might be combining them, but I know there's at least one of the movies he's a chef, <laughs> and. <laughs> And he's like, but he's a chef that was like a fucking Green Beret CIA Navy SEAL agent in the past. Gosh. But now he's just a chef. Um, now he's just chopping vegetables. Yeah. Just chopping guys. And then guys. terrorists attack wherever he is. And I I might be mixing it with the one where he's on a fucking train that terrorists hijack and he has to kill the terrorists on the fucking train. But uh, I don't know. I, I just... It's, Steven Seagal movies they they're a guilty pleasure you can enjoy just I, fucking watching I, I on TBS. I can enjoy them, but, but I, at least I can sometimes. Um, I'm also like real into martial arts flicks. Oh, don't even they're they're cheesy action. Well, see, I, I know I that, but that's what they present themselves as. Like like they really really do. Some of them do, but they like, they, like, they didn't later on in his like these specifically he's the ones a that Zen I remember. Master. No, he's not. <laughs> yeah, no. Like the ones I remember watching were very hacky action movie. Like the, early on, yeah, they're like Scott. You know, yeah, he he's promoting himself as a martial artist. Yeah. No, Chuck Norris, genuine martial artist. Yeah. You are not. Jason says he's like you barely tell, moving. Yeah, you can tell he's a martial artist. You are not, dude. Or at least he can make it look like he is. He's at least, or at he, least a trained fighter. Yeah, something. He, he's yeah. got actual practice. Chops. He's actually done things. Yeah, you're just no. Please stop doing things. Skull. I don't know if Skull's still doing movies. He did something recently. I mean, somehow. I know he did you know a TV what? show he's, because he's, he's a cop. He is the Alex Jones of martial artists. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Jones of martial arts. <laughs> yeah, like, like I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. But when I think of him and I think of our Alex Jones, you would compare it to Alex Jones. Like, there's there's a connection there somehow. I I got to get higher so I can see it. <laughs> I can. I know it's there. <laughs> ah, I need more weed. Right. Um, but yeah, no, that. I, I, I'm tired of Steven Seagal movies. I really, really am. Yeah, I don't think they've made any in a long time. There was one that I can remember actually went to the theater. I think it did. I could be putting my foot in my mouth right now. Uh, and I'm not going to look it up. It's really not worth it. If somebody does <laughs> want to see this movie, uh, it's where he's in the prison. And the, for some reason... Hey, wait, wait. Was it him that did the movie with... No, that was Stallone and, and Schwarzenegger. Never mind. I was just saying, wasn't there a movie where recently where Schwarzenegger... That was uh, Schwarzenegger, yeah, and Stallone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that but was I don't pretty know. recent. I, I'm one sorry. of them was The Architect. Some I, garbage. I'm, so, I'm so sorry, Mr. Stallone. I did not mean to confuse you and uh, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, and we were just talking about Steven Seagal. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he uh, they're in a prison in, I think, Coolio? Not Coolio. There's a rapper in the movie as well. But uh, they had this terrorists attack the prison and him and the guards are like defending. It's so fucking bad. It's But it's it's one that actually made it to theaters, I believe. It's like the last big... Uh, oh, that's the movie. Yep. Yeah. It's back in mind. Um, 
I, yeah, okay. I just remember the scene where he's in a helicopter that just crashed in the prison for some reason. It's like Alcatraz or something. And okay. he puts on, or somebody puts on the helmet, and it tracks where you turn your head. So they've conned the terrorists into getting into this main area where the helicopter crashed and someone's hiding in it. And then all of a sudden pokes his head out and just starts fucking pulling the trigger and mowing down these terrorists in mass. Okay. It was a wow. cool scene. That's probably the only cool thing he's ever done. Actually, it was for sure. The, I'm going to have to look it up later now. Fuck. I won't watch it. It's a terrible movie. You'll probably watch it. Mm. Let's, let's be honest. You'll, you'll watch it. If I find it on Netflix, I can't guarantee that I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> I, I got to I gotta know what this is now. Um, how do you spell his name? Is he spell it with a... <laughs> Steven Seagal. Does he spell it with a V or a P? I guess it is a P. <laughs> I probably would if you just start typing it and get at least to the last name, it'll come right up. I spelled his last name as Seagull. <laughs> um, so I know last week we talked a little bit about, did we talk about, I'm sure we talked about Disney's uh, platform. Uh, no, I don't think we did. We did the Star Wars stuff last week. Right, we did all Star Wars stuff. But we didn't. Yeah, but Mandalorian was a part of that. We yeah, didn't but, talk about their platform other than that, though. Right. So uh, I think we mentioned price was like seven ninety nine or something. Um, well, we were talking about that at work. We did not mention it on the pod. Did we not? Okay. Well, now Disney's we're gonna thing is about to launch. Uh, it's going to be pretty cheap. Um, show wise, the Mandalorians, the Star Wars show looks sounds like it's going to be really cool. They're throwing on um, the on the a bunch of the Marvel characters falcon and falcon and winter soldier have a show there's going to be a vision show and they're using the actors from the movies yeah right? they're putting really? like legit money into this because which is I mean, crazy to me i was always it was always disappointing to me as a kid mm-hmm. when you had a when you had like a show spinoff of a really good movie like the one i know we've talked about it before emperor's new groove yeah and they don't get the voice actors we don't get the voice actors they don't want to pay that money which but, is really why I... It was David Spade. What was he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did he have a... He had a TV show that was like lasted for a long time where he was a lawyer or some shit. Uh, did he? He did. Be, the only reason I... I mean, I don't know if he was the main character on the show or if he was a side character, but I would see clips of him every once in a while. So I know he had work and I'd always like, I should check that out. It's good to see David Spade has work. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm just glad he's doing something. I'm glad he's doing something. I mean, Joe Dirt was an amazing movie. Joe Dirt 2 was an amazing pile of shit. I heard it was fucking terrible. I, like, okay, if you've seen the first movie, yeah. you've mostly seen the second one. Yeah, I don't I, I don't get that because I don't think that's very hard humor to copy. That no, it's not. It's just, it's just so fast. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of older. Yeah. Dried out. I'm surprised my shit didn't burn fast. I'm still pretty sticky icky. Um, fuck. I, I can, yeah, no. I David Spade though. Like, was he really that expensive that you couldn't have got him to play that? Maybe, maybe so. so I don't know. Um, Hercules was the same way. Only, yeah. Not only that, but just the the animated show was terrible. But that was a lot of shows. I still remember. Um, do you remember the the Ghostbusters? Oh, uh, the cartoon? cartoon. Yeah, I remember that. And then that was I remember, that was that was hot in the eighties. That wasn't bad, though, because yeah, Harold was... Ramis was, I think he helped write it, or right. he did write it, or he was, I know he was on the team He was for somewhere the show for a while. involved, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then in the 90s, I want to say, they brought the show The Real Ghostbusters, which was like the more extreme version, but the art style, honestly, the art was fucking cool looking. Right. Because, I mean, it was that 90s extreme kind of thing, but... I don't know. I actually enjoyed that show. It was bad, but I, I watched it as a kid. I mean, dude, there's a lot of things that we watched as kids that were just awful. <laughs> yeah, most of the things. <laughs> Pretty much everything, because back then, you weren't like... You, you were just marketing a toy. That's all those TV shows I feel were. Like, I feel like that stopped in the 80s, because like, I'm, they were marketing toys in the 90s, but we had such better shows like Batman. Oh, yeah. Batman, yeah. That actually, series, had, um, a, just as actually had a story. Yeah. yeah. Those those didn't feel like they were marketing toys anymore because most of the toys had nothing to do. You never saw Superman in like a fucking mega battle suit like all the fucking action figures were. Like That's every cool. once in a while, Batman would use a gadget and they'd make a toy where the gadget was like three times the size and ugly as fuck. 
But it was and, still and cool. And then it had Spider Run. No, it was dumb as fuck. Was, oh, I don't know. I, 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 I hated the Batman toys. Did you? Later on, yeah. The ones that were ba- like. See, all I had were Transformers toys, and all of those were always cool. Yeah. Transformers was always great. Yeah. I had Jurassic Park toys fucking out my goddamn ears. Everything. I had the base, a bunch of the cars, the tons of figures and everything. Right. And then, like, I still was buying them during after the second movie came. I mean, it was, yeah, the second movie still came out with the same size. The third movie, even though the movie was fucking terrible. Right. I was so excited because I'd be able to get new Jurassic Park vehicles yeah. and new Jurassic Park figures. The motherfuckers reduced the size of the figures. Oh, yeah. Because oh, they yeah. were those, the plastic size G.I. Joes. That's what the figures were yeah. from Jurassic Park 1 and 2. The next one, they came up with these like little half size fuckwit figures. That didn't fit in any vehicles. All the new vehicles were under. It pissed. It legitimately fucking pissed me off. Yeah, no, they had to. They, they, that's when they started uh, figuring out that they could save money. <laughs> I probably, but I those didn't last. If you uh, going through the toy aisle, you'll still f- see the figures, uh, the size that I remember them being. I not I, as many, not nearly as about many. Like twelve inch type stuff. No, 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 no. The um the twelve inch GI Joes, those are classic, and those barely. You see those every once in a while. Yeah. I collected them when I got into my teens. Um, or early teens, anyway. I mean the... Were they six inch? The little the little size G.I. Oh, Joes. yeah, yeah. The- Jurassic Park made toys that were about that size, but they were still really detailed. They didn't look anything like the actors, but they oh, were no. still pretty detailed. They um, did not. But they didn't have... They weren't like the figures that you would save like the marvel figures with 39 points of uh, oh. movement in one hand yeah this is like seven thousand these... points of articulation yeah no no, no. Yeah. these are the gi joes that their arms can go straight out and they can hold a thing and some of them can fire <laughs> they're a thing dumb as from shit their hand yeah are they, or they have but, the karate chop action. But my thing was they came with vehicles. The base had a fence and everything, and it had sounds. <laughs> so I had dinosaurs. I had a fucking T-Rex. The coolest one came from the second movie. I think Ron and I had this conversation a year ago. Anyway, on well, the podcast. it would have been two years ago. Yeah. Because Ron left in the middle of 2017. So, but anyway, I had a T-Rex from the second movie that would actually eat and swallow characters and come out the bottom of it. Uh, those toys were the shit. Oh, that sounds awesome. Oh, man. I miss my action Anyway, figures. what were we talking about when I got us off on that tangent? We were... Um, I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I know we talked about 90s cartoons. We were talking about Disney. That's Disney, what yeah. Disney so, speaking of 90s cartoons and... 80s and 70s and 2000s 60s and, and no, no 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 it goes up from there the i don't quote me on this i'm pretty sure though the entirety of the simpsons is going to be available on disney streaming service i mean like from the start I, that's already available on fox's streaming service if yes. you have a tv service like sling it's already available there if you have fxx it's already available yeah, there which which if you have but this your, this puts all of that into all in one. one spot. Disney's got that. Supposedly, they've got a ton of other Fox shows. Not supposedly, but they do have a ton of I other mean, Fox yeah, shows. Yeah, they own Fox, right? Like they the bought it. merger went through, so they own Fox now. So all of that stuff hey. is going to be on there from Jump, along with all the Disney and Marvel properties. Guys, Deadpool's um, finally a Disney princess. Yeah. So there was some an article I didn't read. I should have. It was clickbaity as fuck with the title. But something <laughs> says that said that. No, no, it's fine. Americans don't read art. No, don't read not articles. Anymore. They just, just read, read titles, titles and get outraged. And then judge. Yeah. Uh, but it said something about um, Disney confirming that. And it could have been a fucking opinion piece that said Disney should, but something about Disney would consider Deadpool, you know, as a major character moving forward, which is hopefully true. I mean, I do remember, I think it was Bob Iger yeah. was stated as saying that he's stuff totally like, willing stuff like Deadpool. Mm-hmm. They're continuing. They're going to continue that kind of yeah. stuff. Like They're open to the idea of doing that. All right, guys, I, I, I came across this on Reddit just yeah. now. Uh, whenever you feel like a moron, just remember that Kim Kardashian played poker with mirrored sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, well, Emily, if you're did. listening to this, you, I, you you tweeted something last night that made me think of this. You're never going to be as stupid as that. <laughs> no matter where you go in life, no matter what you do, you're, you're never going to be that stupid. I'm just, you know, what was funny is it, I thought the joke would just stop at Kim Kardashian played poker. My response was going to be for real money. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No. Uh, but no, she wore mirrors. That's a fucking ballsy move. <laughs> I, 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 I just don't, I don't get it. I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. She's like, I heard you play, you should wear sunglasses so they can't see your eyes. So I've got these sunglasses. They're so cute. And Kanye is over there just yum, 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 yum. yeah, man, you do that. Yeah, you do, do that. that. You that do sounds that. good. And yeah, <laughs> you a good idea. Yeah, poker man. <laughs> but and then a string, and then and then a string of sentences that don't really make any, sense, make any sense and include extremely liberal use of the N word. I love um, I I I love everything about not everything. I love the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> And I love his thing about Kanye's like actually uh, total. And maybe it's true. Who knows that Kanye is a total savant, and his his brain is just on this other level where he can't. It, it, there's a fight between being able to articulate what he means, and he just says these outrageous fucking things because he has to have like he's like has to have that contrary. I don't know. It's is this whole thing about you know Kanye West is just brain being on a different level. A different. It's just wired differently, which I mean, is definitely I, on um, the spectrum. I can. I, I, I'm not going to sit there and lend credence to that idea, and <laughs> um, but I can definitely tell you that there are times where my brain is faster than my mouth, and so I will have like this entire thought that is amazing and incredible, or just mediocre, but I think it's amazing and incredible. Yeah, and I can't articulate it properly so i'll stumble over my words so it's a thing well, stumble not? over your words and the kanye is just I, slavery was good for black people but like there's no kanye. no kanye no. what are you trying to say here buddy i mean we think you're like <laughs> but that goes into all like the mega stuff like wearing the hat and it's just like he fucking had to feed on the on the controversy and sometimes he even like it even works that way sometimes when i'm typing where i'll have a complete thought in my head and then I'll only uh, – I'll miss like six words in the sentence and it won't make any fucking sense at first. I go, oh, God, I can fucking edit. <laughs> Let me go back, figure out what it was, and then it's gone. No, I know oh, what no. it is. I, 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 and the funny thing is, is as I type it, I will recognize, oh, I missed a word there. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I'll correct it, but like 33% of the time I just say, fuck it. Just let it go. Just let I it do go. That. I do that a lot. But yeah, my brain definitely works a whole lot faster than my mouth. And like I said, it shows in some of the things I do when I miss a word when I'm typing or I, I stumble over a word when I'm trying to speak. And I do it on the podcast all the time. So it fucking mm-hmm. happens. So Disney service, I, I, I got to say, I, I, I might for I might, $7.99 or whatever. Eight bucks or 70 bucks a month. 70, what, That's eight, crazy. Eight bucks a year or $70 a year or eight bucks a month rather and $70 mm-hmm. a year or something like that. Yeah. 75 I'm okay with that. For all that. And that library is going to be massive off. The st- I mean, if you're a parent. This is a no-brainer. Oh, yeah. because you have all the Disney movies. You're gonna have probably all the, or for sure, all the Disney shows. Uh, I mean, for me, that's what I'm excited about. Like, it's crazy. Like when I was, I don't know when the hell it was, but I enjoyed like the Sweet Life on with Zach and Cody. That was a fun little show. Um, uh, what, what was another? There was a couple of shows that I actually did enjoy. Um, and then of course, like I, I am personally looking forward to going back. Mm-hmm. To my very early childhood and watching like old Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and Goofy cartoons, I want to see that. Yeah, and the, and if that's going to be available on the platform, it's like yeah, it definitely is a no brainer for me. Just going back and sitting there and playing Switch or something or whatever, and have some fucking Disney cartoons up on the screen. I know I don't remember a lot of Disney cartoons because I they just Disney was playing. They didn't show their old cartoons. Like, I remember I the, when I watched Disney Channel, I was watching it for some of the newer cartoons and stuff. By the time they started showing things like Zack and Cody, like the uh, the live action stuff. Yeah. Unless it was their terrible movies, which I loved. Disney original movies were so fucking bad. They were great. Yeah. Uh, those I watched. But most of the live action stuff I didn't was save for... Um, that that's so Raven, where she fucking was psychic. Yeah. I thought that shit was got golden, and then uh, garbage, golden garbage. Yeah, they, they, like Sister Sister, I think was on there. Well, no, that was a that was that was a show that that they, I think it's syndicated that wasn't Disney on the show. Disney Channel. No, um, I back when I was really young, because I'm a little older than you. Yeah. Um, back when I was really young, I'm talking like five, six. Um, 
Disney Channel was still a premium channel. Yeah. So you had to pay extra for it. But every now and then they'd do like uh, like a week where you'd get free Disney. So even on your unencrypted cable, like just TV plug straight um, basic cable, yeah. you could still watch Disney Channel. Otherwise, it was scrambled. So you could sit there and turn to it. And, I, and uh, they had like – I don't, it was like the middle of the afternoon. They would have – like an hour or two. Mm-hmm. They would just show old Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse cartoons. And I remember sitting there during those free weeks or free months or whatever, watching watching that whenever my parents mm-hmm. would let me. So, I, I like, obviously, Looney Tunes was a much bigger part of my life. I fucking watched Looney just Tunes. Just like four channels where you could see Looney oh, Tunes. Oh, yeah, yeah. WB, just, Cartoon Network. Like, everywhere. Bro, I, fucking. Boomerang eventually they added. Yeah. And, I, uh, I never had Boomerang and I'm still kind of like, I wish I did. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm tempted to get it somehow see if i can get a digital version of it or whatever because uh, those are the cartoons i'd love to see yeah yeah the old Warner Warner old, and yeah, stuff like that. yeah Warner yeah. brothers and hannah barbera um, um but yeah uh so so it's a small part of my childhood yeah. but it's one of those parts of my childhood that i can remember i actually enjoyed i remember having we had we didn't have cable for a long time like i got it when i was like eight or nine and then we had just the very basic and eventually up north OG Comcast before they started taking over the world. Because I think that was the first cable company we had. Um, eventually they added Disney Channel right. to the basic cable package. And so that's when I started watching those shows. And that's when like the House of Mouse was one of their cartoons. Yeah, yeah. They had they had a bunch. You know, there's a ton of cartoons on there. But that, that's kind of what I remember watching. That's when, and they didn't show the old ones very often. Yeah, see, I, I I can't remember exactly what it was, but I do remember like um, black screen with like the neon text. Yeah, and it was like the the Disney font. And it was a Mickey Mouse or something. Yeah, I, I, can I remember do remember that. some of them. I can remember that distinctively when they were playing this hour. It wasn't House of Mouse though, because this was before that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I never I mean, had it back then. I just had Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. Right. At first, all I had was WB. Because it was local, and that's where the only cartoon I watched was Looney, uh, was uh, Tiny Toons. Yeah, it was the first cartoon Tiny I remember Toons watching. Adventures. Tiny Toons Adventures, and then eventually like Ghostbusters. Dude, Plucky Duck was the shit. Plucky, God, I hated Plucky. I, I didn't hate him Plucky. as much as uh, the fucking the rich kid. But you were supposed to hate him. Yeah, no, he's a douchebag. Monty, I think Monty, yeah, yeah, fuck that guy. But that's okay. Man, that was a fun show. Oh, I, I don't know what the fuck we've talked about this entire time. Uh, just um, random junk. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, random marijuana-infused uh, rambling. <laughs> it's our 420 edition. Yay. Uh, Which you guys are getting on like 425. Yes, actually. <laughs> I counted right. That's um, a miracle. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It'll probably be like an hour. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because you're not going to know until then. <laughs> it's going to be like an hour late. So shit happens because I'm going to be watching Endgame because I got to see Endgame. We got to talk about Endgame. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed that, you know, make sure you check us out uh, on um, um, our social medias, our websites, everywhere where we exist. We are ungodly geeks. So yeah. find us Twitter. I respond and maybe I'll insult you. you if know. you listen to this on uh, the website, go and like hit play and then mute the YouTube channel. So we can get some more views there. I don't, because like, I don't know if maybe that doesn't matter, may, but eh, I don't know. I just like to see that view counter go up a little bit on YouTube. Somebody sit, uh, I'll sit there and create a big playlist of all the videos. <laughs> and we'll do, run it on we'll do what you guys, what, what that band did on Spotify where they had an entire album of just silence and they had their fans play that over and over again to get the money. Oh my God, that's genius. Yeah. Uh, did Spotify take the money? No, Spotify let them keep the money, let, uh-huh. let all that go through, and then close the loophole. <laughs> oh, okay. Where any song that gets added or uploaded has to have music. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so fucking good. That's like that's like similar but not the same at all. But it, it was Steam games that get uploaded without executables. <laughs> uh, it's not really the same Except thing Except not all. a scam. <laughs> They're just assholes. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. They, that, that was genius, though, because you know, Spotify pays like... I don't know, some fraction of a cent per play. And so they had their fans do that. They made like 40 or 50 grand. Yeah. It's kind of oh brilliant. God. That's a genius idea. Yep. Um, but anyway, guys, you know, go check our website out. Check out yep. our Patreon. Throw us a buck. Uh, we'll put your name on our credits. Come and on. Add us to all the porn you've got on Patreon. Yeah, why not? I know you do. <laughs> I mean, 
we, we can be considered porn. We talk about horse fucking. <laughs> we do. Bring up horse. No, wait. You can't do that on Patreon. <laughs> talk about They have rules fighting? against that. Uh, well, maybe talk, but. No, no. There's totally porn patrons. There. Oh, I know. But you can't do horse fucking. Peace to Alex. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> no, no. We can talk about fucking all day long. <laughs> just it can't be with an animal. Well, too Unless late. it's an anthropomorphic animal. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, guys. They the totally allow the furries. Yeah, fuck. Why not? They allow everybody else. Hey, that dude makes like 360 grand a year. I don't remember what that was. The dude who's making a game. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. I, I still, I really wish I had some ability to draw or animate, and I would just do porn. All right, guys. <laughs> Sell out my For soul. For the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good one. <laughs> Draw porn. Fuck yeah.